Tis time for a new Charlotte Tilbury launch. I'm really, really excited actually about this collection. I know we're all sick of Pillow Talk, we're all sick of pink, but there really was something about this collection where I needed to have it. I'm excited about this one. It definitely appealed to me. Uh, we know Charlotte Tilbury has certainly beaten Pillow Talk to death, but I was excited about this. I don't know. So I will have the link down below to the entire collection. Did you see she got Twiggy? to like model this collection, which was really awesome. Yeah, there was a lot of also re-released stuff in this collection, like Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow, which personally I'm not a fan of, Pillow Talk Medium Beauty Light One, and those are beautiful products as well. Totally pick those up if you haven't. This is a good one, and I think they'll probably sell out. And there's also just a lot of re-released Pillow Talk stuff in here. There's also the Push Up Lashes Mascara in a new kind of like warm brown color. I'm a black mascara girl. Mascara is fine, but it's not all that. I did pick up the three new powder products, which let's get started. I guess we'll begin with the most important one, right? Why do I keep the suspense up for you guys? Let's just get into it. This is the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. I'm gonna turn the light down to notches. So this is the Pillow Talk Dreams Luxury Palette, and here is what the box is going to look like. I love the simple light pink packaging, 18 month shelf life, six grams of product. Did you see that she was going to up the prices of her quads? I cannot confirm nor deny that. I think I saw it in passing, but if she is, what is she putting them up to? I just don't see how sh she could charge us more. Like. There's so little product in this. It's a terrible value. <laughs> you guys know where I stand on that, so that's interesting. So I guess if you want quads, maybe buy them before they go up in price because I think that is a bit ridiculous. I'm trying to find where this is made. Oh, it's made in Italy. Okay, I knew that. Let's get into it. This is a first impressions, y'all. I haven't even looked at this yet. Well, I wasn't gonna film today because I have a cold and I just need a day of not talking because my nose is running like crazy, but duty called. I needed to review this. <laughs> so here is the palette itself. It's a plain, simple quad packaging. No special designs or anything. Slightly disappointed about that. But she does have the typical how and where to apply it. I'm gonna look at it first. I get to look at it before you guys. There's a shade in here. You guys know what shade I just gawked at. So here it is. It looks like kind of a more warm pink palette. I am eyeing this right here. And we'll also take a look at how this compares to the other Pillow Talk palette that I have. This is gonna be a good one. This looks like it has similar formulas to Fire Rose. So I'm gonna start off. Again, we're not keeping the suspense here. So these are the two shimmer shades. Oh, they look so thick and gorgeous, okay. Sorry, that got blurry, but you can see that that was stunning. And then, okay. I think I'm gonna like this one. So we have this super light baby pink and then a mid-tone really glimmery pink. And then here we have kind of a mid-tone rose and then a deeper brownish rose. I mean, yes. I've gotten so many Charlotte Tilbury pinks. I'm not gonna say this is unique, but I think, I don't know. I like it. <laughs> okay, let's just take a peek at it compared to the other quads that I have. Let's do the classic pillow talk here. So this is a classic pillow talk. This pillow talk dreams, I think honestly is gonna be much better for deeper skin tones if the regular pillow talk did not work out for you. And the pillow talk dreams has better formulas. I hate to say it, but the new shimmer colors in here, definitely an upgraded formula. So I'm excited about that. That was awesome. Can't wait to apply them. But yeah, it looks like if you have Pillow Talk, you can get away with Pillow Talk Dreams. I pulled a few others, but none of them look like it. I have like Copper Charge, Mesmerizing Maroon. I also have the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops, which looks a little similar, but the formulas are gonna be totally, totally different. So while the colors may look similar, even the Luxury Palette of Pops does not have the shimmer formula that the Pillow Talk Dreams is having. And then I have to show you Fire Rose. Now mine kind of broke, so I'm I'm gonna like have to 
be careful holding this. But Fire Rose is the quad that we cannot get a hold of in the US. It sold out so quickly, but I'm gonna have to do side by side. The mat in Fire Rose is very clearly much more red, but the shimmers, these are definitely the same formulas, which is amazing. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Here is Fire Rose, and then here is Pillow Talk Dreams. So they're definitely different, especially in the mattes. And then Fire Rose, of course, has an additional shimmer, whereas Pillow Talk Dreams has two mattes, and they're all different. But I will say the shimmers are somewhat similar. In Fire Rose, they're more warm. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna let you do the judgment on that. So this is a situation where I think if you bought Fire Rose, you can certainly get away with having Pillow Talk Dreams. They're different enough, but they are close. So if you missed out on Fire Rose, not to add urgency to the situation, but it's gonna be one of my new favorite formulas. It's a great formula. So I am going to do one eye and then I'll be back to show you kind of how these apply. I'm gonna just tell you now, the quality on this, great. So you won't be disappointed with the quality on this. This is one of her best palettes. I hope all of her palettes are up to the bar of this quality because then her price might be a little bit more worth it. Cause you know how sometimes it could be hit or miss before? Like this is more worth it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with a refer number 27, which by the way, refer is having their 40% off sale right now. They also restocked all the stuff they ran out of during the last holiday sale. So I'll put my link down below if you wanna shop that. Um, I think I pulled all refer brushes to use today but they're all fantastic and really great value especially for that sale price anyways I'm gonna take this rosy shade right here tap off the excess to make it a little easier on you when you blend and then place it in the inner half of the crease and you can see I mean this gives you some depth I think if you have like a medium to deep complexion you're going to love this this to me is kind of like a deeper version of pillow talk that's really great for for deeper complexions. So I'm going to blend this. So you can see it's blending beautifully. This arguably would be really great as a blush like towards the back of my cheek. I don't know about right on the apple because it is a little deep for me, but if I were to put it towards the back of my cheek, I think that'd be pretty. Maybe I should just do that. I don't know. I wanted to see if the low highlights could be used as blush first, but like butter, this is a beautiful matte formula, one of the best. And then we are gonna go into the darker shade, which again, crazy pigment on this, not splotchy at all, as you can see, and then super easy to blend. Charlotte Tilbury low-key kills it with her matte formulations. I don't think people give her enough credit. Her mattes, blend themselves. I don't think I give Charlotte Tilbury enough credit. Like I'll talk about her mattes in my videos and talk about how good they are. But then if I'm not doing a specific review, then I just forget like, no, her mattes are some of the best. You get a minuscule amount of product, but she does a good job with them. And then I'm gonna go back in with that first brush that I use and just haze everything out. And you can really, if you wanted to, could totally deepen up and add more depth. This is a dark shade that really can and build on itself and you can get different levels of depth depending how much you layer. Just so easy and beautiful. Next we're going into like the most beautiful shade ever. I find that this is best when applied with a finger and tilting your head back because I did apply it with a brush at first and it applied fine, so much pigment. I just got a little bit more fallout than I would have liked since I've done my face makeup first, so this is just to prevent a mess. You also might benefit from a stickier base if you want to prevent fallout, but how beautiful is that, right? So stunning, lots of dimension. And then I'm gonna go in with a refer number two brush. This is like really wet and creamy feeling. I feel like it could be a cream eyeshadow. This one has significantly less fallout than this one. So these two are not the same formula. They have a similar feeling. This one is a little bit more flaky but not in a bad way, but it's just a little bit more messy than this one. This one, it just really is like a cream eyeshadow in a palette. This is really pretty just to sneak in here. So yeah, I know I've had a couple people who have a deeper complexion tell me that they're not fans of Charlotte Tilbury, 
because her shadows don't show. I think that this is a good one that will. I mean, she's launched Fire Rose and she's launched this and then a couple palettes in between and all have been amazing. I really feel like Charlotte has improved her formula and I am so excited to see that because it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna finish up my eyes with liner and lashes, but this is the look. It is so pretty. Is it anything really groundbreaking? Anything we haven't seen before? A look that you can't do with her other palettes? No, but she's stunning and I regret nothing. Liner and lashes are on. Let's get into the Pillow Talk Multi Glows. I'm really excited for these. These look so beautiful. So this is the box that they're going to come in. They have a 24 month shelf life and are made in Italy. And the most exciting part about these is how beautiful the packaging is, you guys. You see that? I wish the eyeshadow palette had this packaging because this is so beautiful, the iridescent, I don't know, marbling. The two shades that it comes in are Dream Light and Romance Light. Romance is going to be the lighter shade. Dream Light's going to be the deeper shade. There is a mirror in the compact. The compact feels very nice, very sturdy. How beautiful is this? I haven't touched this yet because I just wanted to show you how pretty it was. So that is Romance Light. And then let me show you Dream Light here. So I'm interested to try this one as a blush today. But here they are next to each other. Romance Light is also definitely more cool, I would say. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks a little more gray toned to me. So I think the intention of this is to mix these all together on your brush but you can also kind of get a lighter side and a deeper side and I think if you want to use these on the eyes let's see could get four shades because again this is romance light yeah I feel like you could do an eye look with this I'm gonna have to try that on a different day so they're relatively the same uh, there isn't too much of a difference but I do think you can get a lighter side and a deeper side. Let me mix all four together. The bottom shade is all four of them together. I'm gonna actually take a, this is clean, I swear, a refer number four brush. And I'm first going to try the deeper side, the darker two, and see if this works as a blush. And you see, I feel like it does, right? A shiny blush, but it definitely has a slight cast there. Let's get fancy with it. I'm gonna take a Wayne Goss 15 brush and let's get the lighter too. Yeah, and you can definitely see the difference between the dark and the light. However, when the light hits, I mean, it is just a big ball of highlight, <laughs> but you can certainly get a little bit of color there to the cheek, which I think gives this a lot of versatility. And then of course you can just also put it everywhere and it's just gonna work simply as a highlight. So this is Romance Light. Gorgeous, let me clean off my brushes. So let's take a closer look here at Dream Light and I've swatched all four of them. So on my hand, because I have a lighter complexion, I feel like I could definitely use this as eyeshadow or blush. And each of the four shades I feel like look a little different from one another. So you might get more versatility from this in that way. Let me get all four together. I love how this says Pillow Talk. Bottom swatch is what all four of them together look like. And then also here are the two compared. They are very, very different, which I'm really happy about. I love how this one is so cool and light and this one is warmer and deeper. I'm gonna just try and get the middle two right here and yeah. so this is definitely working as a blush for me and I have the lights really down so it's definitely gonna show the texture and whatnot but this way you can really see that now, this is quite metallic I don't know if I like this as a blush I get I have zits here it's not that cute but it does add some color maybe if you have perfect skin this could be a pretty blush ah, actually no the monitor is really emphasizing my insecurities here <laughs> I, I just looked in the mirror in front of like natural light and it looks pretty good I'm not mad about it see I don't think I can end up using this one as a highlight this is kind of the best it's gonna be for me unless I'm putting it in my eye because the lighter shades are actually on the outer parts here yeah this is not this is not a highlight on me <laughs> which is fine I didn't expect it to be if it's truly one made for lighter skin tone and one made for a deeper skin tone that one shouldn't work for me so I'm actually just gonna go into the romance light just to get the high points right here 
And here's kind of how it's looking. Keep in mind, highlight does emphasize imperfections, and this is not smoothing them. I will say that, but I'm not offended. You know, I don't think the shimmers here are going to be a deal breaker. It's not one of those highlights where it really shows your texture. I mean, I have texture and the texture's there. There is no makeup product that can magically change that, you know? I think both look really, really pretty. So here's the deal, here's my final thoughts. If you couldn't tell, I actually really like everything in this collection. I think this is a great launch and I think everything was worth it for me. You know, the quad's $53, it's a lot of money, but it's officially one of my favorite formulas from her. Again, I really do hope that this is the direction that all of her quads are going to go from here on out because the quality is miles above some of the quality that I've worked for from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is one I think you really should get your hands on if you're interested, especially if you are still hurt from the loss of Fire Rose. In terms of the Pillow Talk Multi Glows, these are $45. They are not the cheapest. Probably don't need both like me, but I think these are certainly a luxury to have. I think they're really pretty. I think they're quite versatile and they're great products like I'm gonna have a lot of fun continuing to play with these so I give these a thumbs up as well if this is the type of product that you're in the market for and uh, the packaging the packaging just makes it so much better overall everything is literally a 10 out of 10 I loved everything I'm excited about this review and I hope you guys are too in terms of if this is coming to Sephora I, I don't know I I would say yeah but I definitely would say after the VIB sale because that's how the world works, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.